Welcome back to Quiz Plays Valheim. On the last um, episode, we did a lot of different things and we finished up mining. Um, so I'm going to keep mining and then we'll, we'll start on the plains after a little bit of mining. Or a lot of bit of mining, but I'm fast. It's a lot of bit of fast mining. I can swing this, picks with, this pick with such vigor that I shatter the iron in one swing, so... Or the muddy scrap pile that holds the iron, I suppose, is what I'm shattering. Yeah, so the mining will be pretty quick, and then we'll get on into the plains land. We will begin fighting people in the plains. I think I'm good to go back. I could bring a health potion with me. Put these away. Actually, don't need the wishbone on me either. I have two of them. I don't remember getting two of them. Oh, I must have just picked that one up off the boss just now. And I just saw my farm, and I meant to do onions last time, so I'll do that now. I'll bring a health potion with me. Just one. I shouldn't need more than one for this uh, this adventure that I'm going on. We'll mine a couple hundred iron. Because I'm out. And a couple hundred more iron should last me for a very long time. Um, you go through a lot of it, but it's a few hundred. You know, that is a lot of it. So hopefully it lasts for a good while. Oh, I should check my bees. I bet they're full. I don't know when the last time I checked them was, so they're probably full. Some of the, a lot of these are too close together. I'm, I like wasted a bunch of seeds on that one. That's okay. Um, as long as it's not like your very first seed, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. And I don't know where I want to put the bone mass uh, trophy at, so I'm not gonna not gonna put it up yet. I'll just put it with my treasure, because that is what I consider it. It's a trophy, but it's a treasure to me. And we're good to go. This looks good to go to me. I don't know if I needed to do something else here, and I said I would last time. I don't think I did, though, so I think I think I'm ready to just keep mining. Just keep on a mining. Okay. So red just now. I don't know what that was about. I um, mean, this is the nearest of all of the uh, crypts, but I'm gonna go to the farthest one first. I didn't even mark this crypt. We already went in there and. I guess I just didn't mark it. There's a Draugr, like, staring at me. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're pretty easy to kill, though. Um, yeah, so if I had already been in there, that would be open like that, so... I can't shut it. I wish... I, I would have preferred to shut it. Um, or I would have preferred to leave it shut. Now I might think I've already been in there. When I get de when I get back to that point of the, uh... Of the pr process of the mining. Ooh, I one-shot that Draugr. And I'm just trying to get away from the body piles so they don't keep spawning. Those mobs will chase me, but that's fine. They're not really a big deal. I didn't rest. That's okay. That's okay. I will just be unrested. I'll just live with it. No, I'll just make a campfire. That's cl the clearly better decision. I just need to get a little bit of stone. Do you get stone when you're doing the muddy, the muddy um, scrap piles? I don't know. I'm not sure if you get stone from that. Either way. I think there's a campfire in uh, one of these things that's like open. One of the sunken crypts. Oh, 
Okay. Always get the entrails. And then, yeah, I think I've done the farthest away one, but not the, the closer ones, so... Um, I'll keep going to the farthest one, just so it's... Every time I complete a crypt, the next crypt is easier. I'm just making making it easier for myself every time. I don't know how I managed not to rest while I was in the house. I feel like I was there for long enough to rest, but I don't know. I guess I was outside. I was like there, but not in the home for a lot of it, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Whoa, that kind of scared me. I'll just leave that alone. I'll just not deal with that for now. Okay, okay. Oh, I said I was going to make the campfire. Oh, wait, did I? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, it's a blob. Let me just make sure there's not a body pile. There is, yeah. Okay, because that would that would have just kept spawning stuff forever while I was trying to rest, so. Comfort three? I don't know why I have three comfort. Like what is there's maybe it's these things provide a comfort or something? But I I feel like I should only have one comfort. So just just gotta chill for like twenty seconds and then we'll uh I didn't I didn't complete the first dungeon, now that I'm thinking about it. Or the first crypt. I'm pretty sure I left half a stack of iron that was in a chest. I'm glad I just remembered that. I don't want to leave that much iron behind. I should kill the abominations. So I want their roots for um for my my root armor, but I'm just not really feeling it today. I just want to get mining, so I will just mine. Put on my miner's helmet. Oh what? I didn't complete this at all. I thought I thought I was literally done, except except like when I remembered just now the uh, iron. I thought that's all it was, but there's a bunch left here to mine. I'm glad I came back and checked. I thought I did this this whole thing. Um, where was the iron then? I thought I left a bunch of iron in a chest. I suppose not. I suppose I gathered it. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, I'm, st I'm really glad I came back here. That would have been a lot of iron to waste, so... I'm very, very glad to be here right now. And we'll just be mining for a while. But as mentioned, I, it's just one swing to smash each chunk, so... It's much quicker than, than the first time I came here mining iron. Kill that blob soon enough. Got rid of all my poison res potions, and I should not have done that. Yeah, I'm gonna take like a bunch of poison damage now. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Made by me, not a rookie. Okay. Is there any more little tiny bits left? None. Yeah, when I'm done here, uh, I'll have plenty of iron. When I'm done uh, with this this swamp, I'll have hundreds of iron, and that'll last me quite a long time. I'll have to go back to the ashlands and um, farm farm more coal just to to burn all this iron, smelt it down into the bars I want it to be in.
a little fun fact or whatever, iron is much more common than uh, than copper or tin. Um, during the Bronze Age, when we were like ancient peoples, uh, the process of smelting uh, copper and tin into bronze was really difficult. People had to trade over a long distance to get the copper and tin because they don't grow naturally in the earth at the same place. Um, they weren't formed naturally. I don't know. I guess metals don't really grow, but you know what I mean. Um, and that was a big part of why the Iron Age was such a huge improvement. Iron is not only a better metal, it's also way easier to attain. Um, it's harder. The only the only problem with iron and why it took us longer to, to start smelting and mining iron as opposed to bronze is it needs a much higher uh, temperature to smelt. So, just a fun fact for you. But iron is, is much more common than bronze. To, or of course, than bronze. Bronze doesn't naturally occur. Um, but it's much more common than copper or tin. We just used copper and tin because we could melt them first. And uh, we didn't figure out how to melt the iron for much longer. Okay. Yeah, this is like a... You know, I'm, a, I'm at half a stack of iron. And I'm like, I, I wasn't even going to come here. And I'm not even done. Like, there's still, there's still a whole other way. So I'm glad I didn't... Uh, I'm, I'm glad I went and checked here. So I was completely under the belief that I, uh, I did not need to, to come here anymore. And then I thought I, I misremembered and just happened to see all of this iron. I was coming here for just a touch of iron and there was all of this. Ooh, if there's a treasure chest in here, it, it might have a bunch of iron in it too. That's always really nice. I should grab the treasures. Just nice to have money. Mm, no iron. Sag. What are these arrows? Iron head? I'll take the iron head arrows. I don't know, my inventory is pretty full. Maybe I won't. I might drop them. Oh, there's another chest here. Iron? Yeah, half a stack. Let's go. Um, okay, I'll just get rid of the arrows. Grab the rest of the iron. So I'm almost full. I'm almost full. I will have to... to drop something to get more iron soon. Or just I'll run back to my boat. Mining iron for, um, like everything. Uh, I literally, I just have none. Like, I'm, at, I'm sitting at, like, one bar. So, like, I just need iron to make, like, the blast furnaces for the planes. Um, and, like, everything else. Just, just, you just need so much of it. And I have none. So, I decided to come back to the swamp and, and mine some. Swamp. Or, scrap. Scrap. I, I hate the flickering. I, I, I just, I, I, I'm, I might not even wear this helmet. It keeps flickering. That's got to be so annoying for some other people, too. Um, so we'll just deal with the darkness. Definitely a great reason to farm it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just needed. I'm not, I'm not farming it for any, you know, specific reason. Like, any specific item. It's just, uh, you need a bunch of it, so. And I want, I want to go to the, uh, yes, yes, that, that is true. It's not, not as reliant on it. Um, but when I go to the planes, I want to just be able to fight, like, the planes content for a long time. I just want to, you know, do battle with the fuelings for, for an age and a half. Uh, so I want to, I want to really be, like, set up to, to do that, so. So we'll go back there and mine more iron after I go to my boat. And I'll go home when I go to my boat. I will, uh, I'll sleep, get the full rested value, wait till morning and stuff. That was a big jump. I didn't expect that. Okay, okay. My boat is... Oh, it's off eastern. It is a bit easterly from here. Yes, farm that black metal. Indeed. And I've mentioned this a few times, but I really just love fighting in the planes. I think the planes combat is so fun. Um, it's so dangerous. There's, you know, there's huge raids of enemies and stuff. It's, it's exciting content. I'm really, really looking forward to getting into it. Um, so, that I will get into it. I will do. Yeah, 
Any any chance you've checked out Final Fantasy XII at all, Panda? Um, and you, I was even thinking maybe not even just play the game, maybe just watch the cutscenes. Um, because I, I just really I thought that they would be good for you know I thought that they, I in my personal opinion I feel that they would serve a good example of of great storytelling and stuff like that. It's this specifically too. It's not even just the words. It's the, it's the, the animation really. The like, the story that gets told just by watching the cutscenes, just um, you know, not even listening, just physically like with your eyes, what you can pick up, I think is really special. I think they put a lot of work into that. Um, and I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen any of it, but I would love to discuss it with you if you do get a chance to ever check it out. And again, no pressure. I know you're like a busy guy, busy person. You have your own stuff going on, so. Oh, of course I can't teleport out. Oh, I have a bunch of metal on me. What am I doing? We're slowly getting there. Already up to 71. It's good stuff. Stretching. I'm just stretching. Stretching it out. FF the Zodiac Age. I put it up on PSN. And it's free for PS Plus Extra. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. And yes, it is the Zodiac Age. Um, That's the, uh, like, the final edition slash like international Japanese version um, which is way better so you know there's professions in, in um, Final Fantasy all Final Fantasies have professions uh, in in the Japanese version like the INTJ version um, uh, you can have two professions you get two and in the standard like American version that I got when I was a kid you could only have one per profession and being able to double your professions just allows for much more fun and um, fluid characters. So I'm, I'm very happy that they, they gave us the international version for the remake. But yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, would, I would heavily recommend it as before. I mean, I'd, I'd love to chat about it. I'd love to express more specifically what I'm referring to. It's downloading, let's go. Um, but yeah, I was playing it a little bit while I was sick. I've, I've said this before, too. Um, while I was, like, really sick with COVID, I was just, like... Just video games would get my mind off the fact, you know? So I was I was trying to game as much as I, you know, could. I was mostly just laying down. I couldn't, didn't have the energy to game, but, uh... Um, weird dream, by the way. That was a weird one. Uh, I, I, was, I was a wolf in my dream or something like that. Like I was hunting with my teeth. Um... But, uh... But yeah, I was playing a little when I was sick, and I was really impressed when I was looking at the visuals again. Like the, because I know the whole story by this point because I've beaten the game. So rewatching the um, the videos, knowing the story, I was like, "Whoa, they're they're doing some stuff here, aren't they?" I'm um, so. Oh, I need to eat food. So yeah, I was I was really happy with it. I may have to test that out as well. Uh, test what out? Oh, the original Final Fantasy VII is is available as well. Whoa, I didn't know that. That's for free. Like that's that's good stuff. Shout out. I had to, I had to buy Final Fantasy VII on my computer to play it. Um, but yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy VII is great. I don't the original. I mean, I love the turn based combat and stuff too. So, um, and then of course. I'm sure the PlayStation version has this as well, but you can just turn it to 4x speed. Like, uh, like I play Final Fantasy 12 on 4x speed the whole time. Um, oh, whatever, Abomination. I don't want to fight you. I just want to mine. Oh, 19 days till FF16 releases. I didn't know that a new one was coming out soon. Um, is it unrelated to the... It's not related to anything like the the 13, 14, 15, um, like, saga with lightning or anything? Because I feel like those were at least, like, loosely related. Um, does it have anything to do with that? Or is it just a new, a new story? It's unrelated? Okay. Well, I might check that out. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see how I feel about it. I'll look at it. I'll, I'll give it a look-see. Because I, I think I mentioned this before, but I never... 12 is the latest Final Fantasy I ever played. So I haven't played one with actual fluid combat or whatever. 
I mean, 12 is fluid combat, but it, like it's like real time or whatever, not turn based. But it's it's like an auto battler system. Like you don't, um, and I really like that. But you don't you don't control the inputs of your characters. You can, but most of the time it's. I'll send the videos. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, most of the time it's just auto battle like setup. So I would I would like to play one where you have the the control. But I really I love the Gambit system. I wish it was more well received because then they would have used it more. Um, I think it's like absolutely like amazing. It's a little clunky to use, like you have to like get used to it or whatever. But but I, I like it, and I get the I get a lot of enjoyment out of just setting up a system that I think is like beautiful, you know, like beautifully made, and just uh like letting it run. Like even though I'm not controlling it, I I, I still enjoy that a lot. I should pick up these treasures. I shouldn't be so lazy about it. I'll need them eventually. I won't need them. I will want them eventually. Yeah, so hope hopefully it doesn't get too dark in these um, crypts for everybody. I know that it gets really hard to see on stream and YouTube when it's super dark. Um, but just the, the headlamp was just like, like shaking so much, like flickering. I really didn't like it. I did not like that at all. Um, so I, I, I pretty much had to turn that off or take it off. Um, I don't think it's supposed to flicker like that again. I think that's just a little bug, but it, it really bothers me. Like it, it makes me a little nauseous. Whoa, that kind of scared me. And he shot me through the corner. He corner peeked me like he's a pro CS player or something like actually like insane. Bunch of free iron right there. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to mining. I was, I heard something, so I was kind of like a little zoned out there. Sorry about that. Gotta make sure nothing was going on. Can I one shot an elite? I can. I'm a legend. Oh, there's a body pile in here. I just have to, I have to just DPS through it. Uh, I need to drink my potion. Oh, I didn't. I thought I didn't break the pile. I didn't need to break my potion there. Okay, so yeah. So this is a dark room. Sorry, everybody. I. Uh, that's just gonna how it be. How it is. It's pretty dark for me in here, even. So, so I'm very sorry to everyone on on Twitch and YouTube. If you cannot see anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> the headlamp was making me nauseous, and I'm already kind of nauseous. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push it any farther. Put a boss battle gameplay clip in the first, their first hour preview. The recent trailer screen is released in this. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's so awesome. Oh, and Panda, if you go to the general section of the Discord, did you see there's emotes in there? Um, they're like smushed together. The, the format it wasn't perfect when uh, Niata uploaded them, but Niata made some custom made emotes for me. Um, I specifically like the the Vivi Pog one. Uh, it's just really cute, and it's the you know it's a it's a vivifying essence, so it's specific to Stone Shard, but it's a uh, it's a potion bottle, like um, it's a blue potion bottle. Anyone could know what a you know a potion bottle is. It's it's a good potion. Um, so so I was really happy with with that emote in particular. I was happy with all of them, but that emote in particular really really struck a chord. I will have it in my Twitch chat like in a day or two for sure. Um, but it was a huge, huge kindness from Niata. That was like just so. They just mentioned they were like, "Hey, I'm making emotes for you." I was like, "Whoa, what?" They're like, do you want anything in particular? I was like, "Nah, whatever you want to make is amazing." Um, so I, I will gladly use some of them. Yeah, I like the designs they went with as well. They're, they're largely stone shard themed because, you know, I, I think Niata is mostly a stone shard watcher, like for my content. Um, not speaking for like their, what they like in, in, as a whole, but for me, I believe they mostly watch stone shard. Um, 
But yeah, so I was really happy with it. I thought it was very kind of them. I was soaked with the results. But yeah, I like the, the design of the bomb. Pushing bottle is really cool for a sprite. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks good. Um, it well, I'll have to see how it looks when it's a small cube, like a, a twitchy mode. It might be too cluttered to know what it is, but something I should try to draw next. A few more icons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? You could draw your own emotes. My emotes were were drawn on like hand drawn or whatever, except the the one good one, the quist confused. Um, I like that emote a lot, but I did not draw it. Okay. We're up, we're up to another, uh, another big old chunk of, um, of iron. Got like 40 this time, 35. Yeah. So stacking it up. We'll, we'll have over a hundred when I get back now. Oh, I was really hoping to dodge the arrow with the cool jump. No, no particular, it did, wouldn't mean that much. I just thought it would be fun. Thought that would be a, a neat thing to do. I didn't dodge the arrow though. Sag, sag. <laughs> Whoa, why are you here, Wraith? It's the middle of the day, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even block, right? The Wraith might, yeah, I was going to say, they might even die just to the um, the damage over time. They take a lot of spirit damage, so the Wraiths do. Which makes sense. That's why Frostner is so good, though. It does the spirit damage. That's why it's so good in the swamp. Um, it's real, like, true secret power. It's not secret, but it's real power. It's the slowing of, down of the enemies. I was talking about this yesterday, but the slower they are, the more time you have to, to you know freely like control the battle or whatever so I, I value that heavily what was that leech doing it was weird now it was like wild now it was like up on the land I'm trying to look is it like a two star no it was just being weird it was just getting funky with it so that mining this iron is going to take longer than i thought because there's more of it than i thought and i need to mark where my boat is i keep not doing that every time i go back i intend to and then i just forget Okay. M portal. 13. Well, this is really weird. It shows there's like more land here, but it's clearly ocean. Oh, leave me alone. Mr. Skeleton. Go home. Go home, Skelly bro. Okay. Back to getting iron. Iron and wine. Iron and wine. That's either a, a band or a song. That was like really famous in 2010. I think it's a band. I think they're like an indie rock band from like 2010. If you want a single player choice making or making RPG set in Wild West? Check out Weird West. I might have heard of Weird West before. Um, I might check it out though, for sure. Like I will check it out. I I just I might play it. I, mean, I think I've heard of Weird West. Um, and let me tell you, we are weird out here. I say that like we're still the West. Um, there was a point where Texas was the wild, wild West, but now that's the nation is much, much lower. We're like the center. Well, we're the South, but you know what I mean? There's a lot to the West of us now. We are no longer the, uh, the Western section of the nation. When I was a kid, I always thought that was weird. Like, uh, Texas would say like the wild West and then, um, California would say like the same thing and I was like no that's us and then like now that I'm an adult I'm like nope California is the Wild West they they were they were the Western claimed land that is literally them Texas lost that title okay there's a bunch of abominations here they're, they're kind of rare this swamp is just kind of like, it's a big swamp, but it's kind of like goaded. Got abomination, it's got like five crypts, it had bone mass in it, like it's, it's got everything. What more could you ask for? California, the land of beach, nothing else. Ah, oh, California has more than that. 
There's like... I don't know. I was I was just going to say things that like we built. I was going to be like, there's Silicon Valley, but that's not really like part of the land. I don't know. They have mountains and stuff, though. California's got mountainry. I didn't realize I just threw some scrap metal down there and left it. Okay, this is the worst part of leaving a crypt. I never know where to go when I come back. I'm like, what did I, what did I, what was I mining? It was a bunch of stuff I was mining, though. I think it was straight through. I feel, maybe it was straight through. Well, nope, it couldn't have been. Did I mine this place out and I didn't know it? There's no shot that happened. And I've already done this side. Yeah, yeah, this side was tiny. Yeah, it's just this. <laughs> 29 palms. I've only ever been to, to California the one time, but I enjoyed my time there. Saw some family and uh, went to Knott's Berry Farm. Had some nice meals. Saw a lot of people. It was cool. Okay, I have no idea, like, where I was, because there was, I was, like, certain there was mining to do still. I'm gonna put the crazy helmet on. We're going, we're going back to, to, to sicko mode. Um, and not sicko like a bad person, like, it's gonna make me sicko. Um. Just because I want to make sure I'm, like, seeing everything correctly. Gotta use my eyes. Ooh, and there was a little bit of muddy scrap here. There could have been an iron left. Yeah, I don't know, just stop flickering, please. I'm absolutely losing it. There was stuff here still. I swear it. I was like midway through mining it and I left because my inventory was full. But there's not. Like it's not here anymore. I, I keep just searching through the same places because there's nowhere else to search. I'll, I'll do another lap or whatever. I'll go back to this side. But I'm going to just call it quits after this. I'm gonna go to the next crypt. It's like a gnat flying around. Get out of here, gnat. Yeah, okay, see ya. See ya, nerds. I'm leaving. So you know Kingdom Hearts, what about Neo? This this the spin-off series they introduced to Dream Drop Distance. I didn't never I've never heard of it. Literally never even heard of it. Um What is it? What is it uh it's well it's called Neo, the world ends with you. Maybe, maybe, but I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Um, what's it about? Is it about like, um, Sora or Roxas still, or do they have different characters for that one? Because I've not, not even once did I ever hear of it. I wasn't very like, um, like... Even still, I'm not very, like, I don't keep up with games very well. I, I intend to, I just don't. Like, I just, I could, I could love a series and then not know that the sequel's coming out. I just, it's just kind of how it is for me. Maybe I, like, went in here or something on accident and was mining, like, this stuff. I don't think so, though. I don't think I've been here. treasure. Ooh, two chains, too. Two chains. Two chains. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.